Keep the short and sweet, VC. Just got back from the record store. Hope everyone is doing well. And uh, here, let's go. Uh... Anyways, back up a little bit. Okay, this was on uh, hold for me. I found this in the news section a while back. No, actually, a couple weeks ago. McCoy Tyner, Counterpoints, live in Tokyo. I gave a little preview. It sounds phenomenal. Can't wait to listen to it. I think it's got um, Tony Williams on drums and Ron Carter on bass. That's a good, that's a good trio right there. And um, it was recorded in 2000. In 1978. In Japan, July 28th, 28th 1978. But came out in 2004. So, can't wait to spin this. Play it. I usually, I never said spin records before, but now it seems like that's a term. So, what's up? This isn't a great pressing. It's the doll on 180 gram. So, I don't even know if it's digital. It was only $21. I don't have Blue Train. I don't have any version of this. My bad. Um, so, I got this one uh, for a great deal. And uh, I have a, a doll pressing my Joe Henderson, and it sounds great. So, and I knew this was coming out. The new Cannibal Corpse. Now, I'm I'm more of the original lineup with the first singer, but I don't have all of Cannibal Corpse. I have all the, most of the, all the stuff with Chris Barnes. I'm missing one. But um, I thought it was cool. I just, the reason I think this album is cool, it is called... Um, Violence Unimagined, Cannibal Corpse, kind of sticking with their, all their themes are very violent. So, um, but the fact that they came out with a new album after they've been together for a freaking long time, um, it, it's just hard to keep any business together and let alone a business with friends and to keep the art true. And I know they've been through, the only original members now are the bass player and the drummer, I'm pretty sure. So, but George Corpse Grinder, he did a good job of filling in for Chris Barnes and then keeping the torch and, you know, keeping Cannibal Corpse going. So, and I think, though, this is with the guitar player from Deicide that filled in for the Robert guy who freaked out a while back. So, super sad about that. Sucks he couldn't uh, stay in Cannibal Corpse, but stuff happens. You got to keep the machine going. But super happy to get this. It's on colored vinyl. Uh, white and green melt, which again, I wish it was just on traditional black, but hey, didn't have a choice. Maybe I did, I didn't know, but it was at the record store. I had to swoop it up. So, super happy about that. That's what I got for my little short vinyl haul for today. I have to head out, play a show last night, and then I gotta go ahead uh, for sound check right now. I'm playing another show with my other, with a different band, and uh, super excited. So, um, what did you guys get lately? Um, are you a cannibal fan? Are you a jazz fan? Either way, throw a comment, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will see you guys after the show. I'll probably make another video later tonight. Late. Have a good one.